Hello there, Joanne Lavelle here. How are you? You're very, very welcome to number five, Marlmount Place. This is a fantastic five bedroom detached property measuring 169 square meters. So space and style in abundance in this lovely home. But before we look inside, a little bit about outside. So Marlmount is a lovely modern housing development of detached and semi-detached homes. The location is fantastic. You're very close to the R132 Dublin Road, which means that you're midway between Haggardstown and Blackrock Village, and you have all of the, the amenities of both of those locations on your doorstep. So for instance, you're within walking distance of St. Fursey's National School, of the Geraldine's GAA Club, and you're also within walking distance of the full array of amenities in Blackrock. And whether that's the gym in Felda or the bars and restaurants and shops of Blackrock Village, there's plenty to choose from. So back to this property, which occupies a corner site here, has a green area to the front and the side. And do, do remember to stay tuned for a look at the back garden, which is also really impressive. So welcome inside. What you're going to see throughout this property is lovely, fresh finish. Really impressive throughout. It is as smart as a brand new pin. We're in the entrance hallway. And as you can see, space for lovely console to dress your hallway and a very good use of space. Now let's go into the kitchen diner. So this is a lovely, lovely big space and it is actually a bespoke kitchen. And just a few highlights to point out to you. Beautiful sort of um, natural wood beach looking um, worktop surface surrounded by this gorgeous um, sage green kitchen cabinets and I love the way that it's been done with a combination of the glass panelling and then also the solid and these absolutely gorgeous gold trims. The kitchen area is extremely well appointed. We have all of the appliances here, integrated dishwasher here, fantastic um, belling range, five gas top range and beyond here a really really good utility room with a huge amount of storage. Also space here for the American style fridge freezer. And then as you can see, lovely space for dining area, including that really sweet bay area there looking out onto the back garden. So we have two reception rooms here at this property. This is the larger of the two. It is a super, super big space. And look at this feature fireplace. It is absolutely really, really beautiful and a lovely uh, sort of gas um, basket, modern basket effect appliance inside. That lovely uh, semi-solid or clipped flooring um, with a walnut effect or a deep oak is running through most of the property. And you can see here, this is a dual aspect room with lots of space and lots and lots of light. Look at this. I'm always talking about having space that accommodates all of your furniture and all of the different options and the ways that you might furnish a room. And this room has the space for this gorgeous, big, uh, curved uh, sofa. That gives you an indication of just how spacious this room is. And also the beautiful decor here, the lovely plums and teals really do show how gorgeous you can just finish a room off with a little bit of an adventurous spirit when it comes to the colours. So we're back out in the entrance hallway, really lovely guest WC here, which is really nicely panelled and beautiful tile floor. And now into the second reception room. This is a dual aspect room overlooking onto the front of the property. It's ideal to have this space, whether it's work from home space that you need, whether you want a little bit of a separate space, maybe for teenagers or for younger children for their own uh, playroom or gaming or whatever have you, or even for a home gym. So that's the real benefit of the second reception. You get much more choice of how exactly you use your space. But again, a room that is in perfect condition. Now we're going to have a look upstairs. So up here at first floor on the landing and the five bedrooms are very nicely laid out around this central space with a very good eye to use of space. And we're going to start in here with the first of the two ensuite bedrooms. This is the principal bedroom. It's a lovely space. It's dual aspect, it's to the front of the property, but overlooking the green area. So it means that there's a huge amount of space between this property 
and the properties surrounding. There's built-in storage in this room and there's also a fantastic ensuite. Now, you'll see when you go into the ensuite that there's excellent tiling, but it's also surprisingly uh, spacious. Lovely amount of space there and a lovely corner shower. Next, the main bathroom. Bedroom number two is a large single or a small double bedroom onto the front of the property. But again, very good use of the space and very adaptable. Bedroom number three, as you can see, a lovely sized double bedroom. Important to point out, because the back of the house has a south facing aspect, the, this room and the, the next rooms they're particularly bright because even now it's a cloudy day and there's loads of light in these rooms. Also, this room has the benefit of built-in storage. Now, when you're looking at any property in a suburban area, it's important to consider what's going on around you. So you can see here that because this house is slightly elevated, it means that you're at a, at a higher level to the properties behind, which gives you more light, more privacy, and you're not overshadowed. So you can see from the back garden, high degree of privacy and really nice planting. So stay tuned to the end to have a look outside. Bedroom number four now, a really nice uh, double room with, which it's such a pretty pink color, very soft look and um, very spacious and also with built-in storage. And finally to bedroom number five and at the second of the bedrooms that has an ensuite bathroom. So it's a fantastic feature. So as you can see in this room, not only is it a really spacious double, it's also got the benefit of built-in storage and a great ensuite. It's situated at the back of the property. So again, an extra nod to extra light and more privacy. So now we're going to take a look at that lovely back garden. So there are quite a few important things to point out in this lovely back garden. First and foremost, most importantly, it's south facing. So it's now coming up to three o'clock and the sun is just here. So it means that you're going to get any sunshine that's available to you throughout the afternoon and into the evening, which is why this patio is perfectly placed to enjoy perhaps a bit of dinner outside in the summertime. Also, as you can see, it's a really big space, lots of room for extra little zones. So here you have a nice little lounging area, the all important barbecue, and then over at the other side of the garden, a big, actually a really big outsized trampoline. The whole garden is really nicely planted and a lovely variety of plants. So in actual fact, there's a lovely sense of movement and sound coming around that planting, particularly from the bamboo here in the corner. And of course, it's serving a dual purpose because not only is it giving a lovely interest, it's also giving you nice screening from the neighbours. So it has a lovely sense of privacy throughout this whole back garden. Um, we can see also that the, back, the, the rear of the property is very low maintenance um, and with only a relatively small amount of grass to cut. So thank you so much for joining me on this virtual viewing. I hope that you have found it to be of use. If you have further questions about this property, then click on the links and you'll get further information. And if you would like to arrange a viewing in person, then I will be absolutely delighted to show you around. Meantime, thanks for joining me and um, stay tuned and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.